Hello everybody, thank you for watching today's video. So I wanted to bring you guys another organization video and this one I've been so excited for. So I kind of already started and then I was like, oh yeah, I need to film this. <laughs> so I'm organizing our pantry over the holidays and just kind of over the year. It got a little out of hand and you guys know I love keeping our pantry organized. So I already started this morning. I just took everything out and then wiped down all the shelves. So this is the only stuff I've put back in so far, which is just a couple little smoothie things and just like some oats up there. But otherwise everything is still out. So these are all wiped down and like any that had to be changed, I'm gonna change this one out. So this is what we got going on. So here's, God, it's just so horrible. This is our food. And I just think over the holidays, it just got so packed of stuff. So I wanna go through this, make sure there's nothing expired and then eat what we can out of there. And then this is all kind of like random things <laughs> that I have to organize somehow. So I have a bunch of like wax warmers, a bunch of containers for juices, some reusable cups or disposable cups, I mean. So that's where we're at. So I think where I'm gonna start with this, actually first, if you want to see the initial pantry organization, I'll link that video down below where I organized my, my pantry and kind of got all these systems in place. Um, so that one would be helpful if you want links to all of my like canisters and things like here's all my canisters i'm gonna wash all of them too so all of these are from my like amazon and target and they're all linked in my amazon storefront and in that video with my initial pantry organization so i'm gonna wash all those but i think where i'm gonna start is i'm kind of going through this table and kind of going through our like canisters and kind of getting them organized and yeah it's a lot so Bear with me, but I just wanted to film this process. All right, I wanted to give you guys an update. So I have all of this table cleared off, which was all of our like uh, kind of seasonal dishware and things. So the only things I kept are up there. So these are what we use like every day or you know more often um, and kind of more our color scheme with like the wood, white and black. Um, so that's all I have up there. And this is where I'm at for now and then so I'm going through the food next, and then these are all things that I want to keep, but just put in the basement for now. So it's like our seasonal snowflake dish, and then this is like, um, what are those called, like little cookie cutters, and that kind of stuff, and like vases. I don't really need to keep in the pantry, because we don't have flowers that often, and it's no big deal to run down to the basement and get a vase, you know what I mean? So that's where we're at now. So now I'm gonna start really organizing the food. It's later in the day and before I show you the final product of our finished pantry, I want to talk about today's sponsor. So this portion of today's video is sponsored by the Whistle Go Explore Pet Tracker. So this is a personalized health, fitness, and location like GPS tracker for pets. So you can actually open this and then slide your pet's collar into there and then just hook it right onto your collar. So I'm gonna show you some clips of this on Joy. And I just think this is so cool for all my dog lovers out there and dog parents that our dogs are just the most special thing to us. <laughs> you guys are going to love this. So I'm so excited that they wanted to work with me. And I just wanna tell you a little bit about this. So you can see it right here on Joy. It's really comfortable, she doesn't mind it. So the Whistle Go Explore Tracker is a really comprehensive device with GPS, health and fitness tracking, there's long battery life, there's a night light like a flashlight if you are walking at night, and there's just so many things to monitor your pet's fitness and health behaviors. It really helps me as a pet parent to understand everything that Joy needs and everything for her well-being and her health. So your dog can just wear this all day if you want to track them for long periods of time, and it's just such peace of mind knowing that this will track her, and I always know where she is. I just think it's so cool that with this Whistle Go Explorer, you can know where your pet is at all times. You can actually set fitness goals and make sure that your pet is getting all the exercise that they need, which I think is so cute. And it just really helps me have peace of mind to know that she's getting taken care of 
and she's healthy and like hitting all of her activity goals and it tracks their eating, it tracks like how much food they eat, it tracks if they're licking or scratching, um, it tracks how much water they drink, it just is so cool. So I just think it's the best invention ever. Along with the location tracking and fitness tracking, they actually have on-demand Televet. So if you are in need of any type of Televet care, you can do that with the whistle. So I just think this is so cool. It hooks up to the app, as you can see in all these extra clips right here. We're loving it and I'm just so thankful. So I will leave all of the whistle go explore info down below for you guys, but this is how tiny it is and they have a couple different options and that right there you can see is the night light so if we were to go on a walk i could turn that on and it would shine or you can do it flashing or you can just have it off like it is right now but it's just so cool so i will link all of this down below for you guys now on to the pantry reveal i'm back with an update so i completely cleared out all those tables so all of the dishes are put away and then all the food is put away and then i wash we made some lunch but i washed all of these canisters i just hand washed these and these so i'm just letting them air dry right now and like this cookie thin thing from christmas i'm letting that air dry but basically all i have to do is put some cereals in the cereal canisters once those are dry but this is basically how the pantry is coming along i just turned on the keurig so i'll wait So here is the final result of today and it's weird because I feel like I didn't throw away too much food or you know like not, like not too much of it was expired or anything but it looks so much more cleaned out so I don't know what happened but I guess it just kind of got out of hand and things got disorganized. Um, so it looks a little empty because I still have to add in all those canisters like that typically go here and here and here and up there so I'm missing a few of those um but they're gonna be empty anyways because it was all old stuff but yeah it feels so good to have this back reorganized so up there i typically have cereal and oats this is all my baking supplies so things we use often is right here and then like mixes and flowers and things and then this whole shelf is typically like smoothie supplies and then like almond butter and honey and things in here the shelf is always dinner things like rice and pasta and pasta sauce and bread and things. The shelf is always um, chips, crackers, and this is kind of like sweet treats like chocolate and stuff like that and dried fruit. Um, and then this bottom shelf is just some produce. I really love these mesh produce bowls. And then I have some cookbooks there, cookbooks here. And then on this side, we like to have our Keurig here in our pantry. It's just really nice to not have it on the counter, especially because it's so huge and like dark. Um, it's just nice to kind of have it put away, but it's really useful in here. So I just made this little tray for the coffee and then this little sweetener I like to use. Um, I don't know what else to put on here. I kind of think about that. Maybe like a spoon rest or something for like cream, but I don't know. We'll see. But I thought it was cute just to use this. And then this is our little tea box. Love that. And then clean that out. So this is all our kind of extra drinks and extra powders and to-go cups and then like extra things. Down here is Joy's food and snacks, some extra out of our blender, and then our air fryer, Joy's food's down there, and then just have cans and then alcohol up there, and then all of our like serving dishes are up there. So I'm gonna dry all these canisters off, put those back in, and um, clean up a little bit more. And we took all of our Christmas decorations down. I'll show you that real quick. Brett did all of that while I was doing the pantry, but it feels so good to have it all cleaned out like oh my gosh we just missed our house being clean and organized feels so good to have like our railing back clean without all the garland it was fun while it lasted but we really like just having our clean house back